Hello everybody and welcome to my podcast today. I'm really hoping that this podcast is going to help you because I've been doing a lot of work around this area and I really feel that this podcast can actually make a difference in your life if you're prepared to do it. So firstly I want to talk about energy. We have positive energy and negative energy in our aura. We also have positive thought forms and negative thought forms and they're in our aura and they're floating all around as well as the energy and these are the things that make us feel good and make us feel not so good. Edgar Casey was a famous healer and seer and uh, he maintained that we have the three bodies which are the, the mind, the body and the soul and he maintained that the mind was the builder, that the mind was actually driving all of the aura and all of the energy and I want you to keep that in mind because <laughs> What happens in your mind sort of lands up happening in your body and it's also transferred in from your soul. The first thing you have to understand is that when you're born you've probably got lots of positive energy in those three areas, the mind, body and soul. You might have brought in a bit of negative energy from your soul from past lives but that can actually be dealt with every life if we choose to do it and I think this is the life that we're probably choosing to clear a lot of things out of our aura. When you do this you need to be mindful that it's something you just can't do once. You have to keep going back every now and then and just doing more work. But once you've shifted most of the negative energy from your three places, you'll actually find putting the positive energy in quite easy and very quick during the day and changing positive thought forms into your actual mind. What I did was I realized that I had still negative energy in my aura and as we get older we collect more and more negative energy because of our life experiences and I think in some ways our positive energy kind of diminishes. It sort of like gets covered over by all the difficult things we have to deal with and the sadnesses and losses and all the things that have happened to us that might have been somewhat traumatizing. However, we can let it go and that's what this podcast is about to tell you how I did it and then you can maybe take some of what I have done and use it and even add some of your own things and you can always message me because I sort of feel that if we share the information we can all help each other. The first thing I want to say is that you need to first of all you can check or you'll just know how much negative or positive energy you have in each area. I use my pendulum to ask how much negative energy I had in my body and my mind and in my soul and how much positive energy and in my case it was a lot of negative energy even though I've done lots and lots of work on myself it was still stuff to shift. Don't see it as an I was going to say a negative thing but I probably shouldn't say that just see it as something that you've learned about yourself and now you know and so you can work on it. The first thing I did was to sit quietly and I focused and I thought about my body and I released all the negative energy from my body, from every part of my body I could think of. I went through all the organs, just let it go, any negative energy in my throat, in my stomach, in my bowel, in my heart, everywhere I could think of, in my muscles, in my bones, and I went through the places. If you think about where it hurts or where you have trouble, there's probably negative energy there and that's a really good place to start so you don't miss it. So I let go of all the negative energy and sent it to the light and released it, asked my guides to help me when I did this process. Then I filled my entire body with positive energy and high vibrational positive light and I filled all the organs and my muscles and my bones and my joints and I went through, as I just said previously, to the parts that were hurting and put lots and lots of positive energy and just flooded it. And then I went down to the cellular level and flooded all the cells with positive energy right down to that cellular level and completely immersed myself body-wise in my positive energy. Next I went to my mind and I released all my negative energy from my mind, all the negative thought forms I had, all the negative way of thinking. I released it, let it go, send it to the light, ask my guides again to help me to release it from my mind because knowing that the mind is a builder, if we've got lots of negativity there, it's going to download to everywhere else. So I released it from there. And once I felt I'd done that, I started to fill my mind up with positive energy, positive thought forms, positive thinking, 
seeing my blessings, being grateful, and I flooded my mind with positive thoughts. Next, I did my soul, released any negative energy from my soul that I either brought in from past lives or I was holding in this life, released it, sent it off. Then I filled my soul with positive energy, positive light, and lots of high vibration uh, because the soul is vibrating at quite a high rate so you'd want to actually do a very high vibration light going through your soul in a positive way so I did those three areas in my case I went back and filled each chakra the front and the back of each chakra with positive energy and positive light because I thought for me that was really important and also filled my astral body with positive energy and positive light and I also when I did it I actually thought it was really important for me anyhow to fill up my body with love so I filled my body up with love every part of my body I just flooded it with love 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 and love through my mind and self-love obviously and next love in through my soul so my actual soul was completely flooded with love so now I was full of positive energy throughout those three areas. My aura was filled with positive energy. I did that as well. I did try to do everything actually. I was sort of covering all my bases. And I think as you're doing it, just do it intuitively because you'll be guided. There'll be areas that you probably you don't have to work on so much and other areas that will need a lot of extra, extra work. I noticed that when I checked, with a lot of people, I sent energy to people, and people who are uh, happy for me to send healing to them, and I did work on them. And I did notice that often the soul was the one that was hardest to fill up. And uh, that one, whereas the other ones in the daily life was easier. So the body was a bit easier, and the mind and the soul I sort of had to send extra there. And I think it's just because over the, all the eons we've collected up so many lives worth of negative energy I suppose from what's happened to us and we may be carrying it but it's time now to let it go when you now have done this you should feel a bit lighter I actually felt lighter which was great and I realized that I probably would have to do this a lot of times like keep doing it and when I found myself being negative just let it go and then fill up that area with I was speaking so that would be my mind or I was feeling it in my body then I would let it go. This is a very high spiritual practice, I believe. It's simple, but most of them are. And I think it's something you might want to explore and do. If you've got people who are open to healing and happy for you to send healing to them, you can send the same thing by putting your hands out in front of you or just doing it with your mind. You can release the negative energy from their three areas, which is the body and the mind and the soul. And then you can fill them up with positive energy in those three areas. If they don't want it, of course they won't use it, but at least gives them a head start. I noticed when I started checking people that children were full of positive energy in all the areas, particularly the body and the mind. But as they aged and <laughs> life sort of <laughs> took its toll, they became more negative. And by the time they were getting into their 50s, 60s, most people had a lot of negative energy in their aura in those three areas and also they had very little positive energy i found that really quite interesting the people who were more sick or suffering more from depression and other problems like that they also had a lot more negative energy and that's why i think it's a really good practice to do it for other people to ask spirit as you're doing it to release the negative energy from those areas for them and then also fill it up with positive light. And fill the, I always fill them up with love as well. Then we know that they at least they had a chance, you know. And if they are sick, and uh, we know that they're sick, just by doing that will lighten up the body and give it more opportunity to heal. Because it's when we are carrying all that negative energy, it's really hard for our body to heal. Because it's like we've got all this baggage and it's like trying to fix things up and all that negative energy is in the way. But once it's lifted out of the body and the aura and we've done that work on the mind and the soul, then it is lighter, quite literally, and it'll vibrate faster. And the reason we get sick is because our vibration starts to go down. So if you think of we're vibrating at 8 
and then we're seven and then we're six and then we're five and as our vibration goes down um, we become more prone to illness and sickness and we just vibrate down to a point where we die really that's what actually happens energetically we usually leave first we start leaving from the layers on the outside of the body and releasing if you see someone energetically if you can psychically see them you'll see that they actually start leaving the energy starts leaving the body um, as they get more ill towards the end and then they just basically step out i think you'll really enjoy doing the practice it's very quick i found that once i got used to doing it, it was pretty fast doing it on others and also on myself I've done work before on positive and negative energy and I've even done some podcasts but this one just seemed like a pretty much nutshell way of doing it. So you do the release, ask help for that in the three years then you fill up in the three years and then I always fill up with love and then I just kept going back and topping up. That's what I did and any areas that you have trouble with there'll be negative energy so just keep releasing the negative energy. So if you've got a sore foot you've probably got negative energy there or sore throat do is be a bit more specific you just go to your foot if you haven't got time to do the whole thing go to your foot release the negative energy from your foot and flood your foot with positive energy high vibrational light you'll enjoy doing this it'll make a difference in your life and uh, you can always leave me a message on youtube or on um, on soundcloud as well because i kind of feel that once you start doing it you'll actually feel the difference and you'll feel lighter and it's so good for your health that's the thing it's just so good for your emotional and mental and your energetic health your actual energy health will be much better and that's why when we see those children they're running around and they're so full of light and it's because they've got so much positive energy and that's why when you go to the nursing home and you see the people sitting there they've got so much negative energy and i'm not saying they're particularly negative it's what's they've experienced in their life they've just absorbed too much so I'm wishing you a happy positive week <laughs> do the meditation do it every day if you can I'll be I'm going to do it every day I did it this morning and I was kind of excited doing it and then I'll keep doing it every day because I think I need to shift a lot of stuff and also it'll help you with your moving your life along because the more negative energy we have the harder it is to move forward so this will help you move forward and also you will also attract more positivity towards yourself because you're going to be like a big beacon of positive beaking, beating light <laughs> and uh, everyone will see you so good luck with it and have fun and i'm wishing you lots of love and lots of light